Hi, I'm Harrison. Hey, Harrison, I'm Walter. What keeps you busy? Well, what keeps me busy is a company that my wife and I have called Artistic Gourmet Adventures. Okay. So what do you do in that? My wife and I host small groups of seven to ten people, mm -hmm. mainly in France, for uh, adventures, six to six to seven day adventures. Mm -hmm. And uh, we take, we do uh, wine visits, we go and do wine tastings, we do gourmet food, and we travel. So um, our goal is to experience the art of world travel, gourmet food, fine wines. So traveling, where do you mean? Like Asia, Africa, all around the globe? Mainly Europe, mainly mm -hmm. France. Uh, we started in France and now we have expanded to Scotland for this mm -hmm. coming year, but mainly in France. Okay. So what you do is you go and you take a group of seven to ten people usually and you take them on wine tasting, food, adventures around the globe. Yes. Mostly in Europe, though. Yes. Is that what? That's absolutely exactly what we do. Okay, you did a good job. We cook for them, mm -hmm. and uh, we uh, transport them in nice vans, and um, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, who is your inspiration, or what inspiration got you into cooking and stuff like that? Because I've had some of your food while you've been here, and it's amazing. Yeah. So. Probably my wife. Mm -hmm. I would say my wife is my inspiration. She loves my food, and uh, mm -hmm. we enjoy entertaining a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's that's really our gift. We believe that everybody has a gift. Yeah. And our gift together is entertaining people. Mm-hmm. And really, we do a good job at it. Well, thanks. <laughs> um, what advice would you give your 11-year-old self back in the day? Hmm. That's a good one. Um. Advice would you give your 11 year old self to to when you start something to see it through and to finish it When you say see it through what does that mean? That means to complete the project You mm -hmm. know if you've got a goal in mind uh, Put your eye on the goal and and, and go for it mm -hmm. and don't be distracted by outside influences mm -hmm. So when you were my age, what did you want to do? I Probably at your age, I probably wanted to be a musician, mm -hmm. which I actually ended up being for several years. What did you play? Clarinet, saxophone, flute. I started out playing the piano. Mm -hmm. So I studied music from a very young age, starting at five years old. Wow. I started playing piano, and I mm -hmm. played piano for probably until about 13 or 14. Mm -hmm. And once I got into middle school, I started playing uh, clarinet and then saxophone in later years and I actually got my degree in in music education mm -hmm. and I thought that I would be a band director mm -hmm. and somewhere along the way I decided I didn't want to be a band director so when I got out of college I had a degree in music I went ahead and went to graduate school mm -hmm. and I got a and what is graduate school is 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 uh, it's really called postgraduate school mm -hmm. but it's after you graduate from four years of college then you go on to get uh, a master's degree mm -hmm. in something just further what did you get further. A master's degree in? I got a master's degree in music education again and uh, what I did after that is I played professionally for about 15 years I played saxophone and clarinet in Dallas and I taught privately I taught private lessons in mm -hmm. a couple of different school high schools and middle schools mm -hmm. students uh, clarinet and, and flute and saxophone okay who ins well who came, how did you, why did you become a cooker? Um, I, probably because of my mom. And, mm -hmm. and that may have been the, the, another correct answer to your question about who was my inspiration. My mom was a great cook. I was an only child, so mm -hmm. I was in the kitchen with my mom a lot. So I cooked quite a bit growing up. Mm -hmm. And um, and then, because my wife knows that I love to cook, she actually surprised me uh, on a vacation one time, and, and it was in France, mm -hmm. and she surprised me with a uh, week-long course at a cookery school in France. Wow. And that is really, uh, since I did that, 
we, I became really good friends with the chefs who own the school, mm-hmm. and we've become really good friends with them, and we've visited them pretty much every year for about the last 10 years, because that started in about 2005. And so studying with them has been a really big inspiration and a real big learning experience, mm-hmm. learning how to do things with proper techniques and um, that kind of thing. It was good to meet you. Good to meet you too, Harrison. Fun interview. All right. Thanks.